Hi everybody. Um, I'm just about ready to unveil my new project that I've been talking about for so long. I've been thinking about this project for probably about two or three years and I'm really excited that I got the first pieces done. They took a little while to do because I was formatting everything and I wanted to be sure that the subsequent pieces would match and I wouldn't have to change up something after I get two or three of them in line. So um, the first one's the hardest, definitely, but I'm really pleased with the result of them. And what I am going to do is I have created these little um, stand-up sh um, shops, I guess you'd call them. I was going to say houses, and there will be houses later on, but they're shops. And these are on, um, the big ones are on MDF. This is a larger size. I did two sizes, and then this is a smaller size. And each piece, this is on um, birch plywood, eighth inch. And each piece has a stand that comes, it could come out of the stand and you can store them flat or you can glue them in the stand if you want. And I have overlay pieces that will make the project really fun and easier to paint. So these are for my painters, obviously. And I'm going to be doing a whole um, village of these. This is called, I decided to call the pattern North Star Village. And this is the Christmas in the Village, um, I guess, portion of it. And the first shop I called Toys in the Attic. It's a toy store, obviously. And I named it after um, my first company that was called Toys in the Attic. Some of you know me from way back then when I used to make teddy bears and other craft things before I really um, designed patterns and woodworking. And I used to call my company Toys in the Attic. And each of these little shops is going to be extremely detailed. I don't know if you could see in there. I'm trying to get it to focus. Nope, it's not going to do that close. There we go. Nope, it wants to focus on other things. But you can see the little bear in the window and the tree. And I, of course, I'm going to be offering kits for these. Now I wanted to show you what comes in the kit, the main shop piece. This is how I do the stands. Um, they're just two pieces glued on to a base. So you glue the first piece in, you put this, um, this slotted piece in to measure, and glue the second one after it's dry. And it makes a perfect little base that's very sturdy. And as I said, you can um, slot it in after. And then these are the little overlay pieces that are coming with them. There's the horse, the, the pram. And the soldiers will be in the toy store kit. So as a wood kit, you get out all this. This is a small kit here, and this is a large kit. It's a larger size, and it comes with all the same. And the pattern will have both um, sizes in it. And for those of you who haven't bought my patterns before, I do lots of step-by-step -step pictures so you get guidance every step of the way. I want each painter, like here's a good example, the bear, the different steps to creating the little bear in the window. This is why my patterns take a long time too is because I try to do everything very thorough so even new painters can be successful with them. And this pattern has over 50 photos in it, color photos, and my line work, this is a large house, it's all done on the computer so it's really accurate, it's all vector line work so my drawings are all nice and clean and crisp, and then what I think I'm going to do for this um, first one 
is a short video on how to paint the teddy bear and the tree just to show you how easy so um my next job up is going to be a florist it's going to be called the enchanted florist and somebody asked how many buildings i'm going to have in the series and i'm going to have as many as keeps you guys happy as long as there's interest i have ideas for probably a hundred buildings and they keep getting more and more and um i'm also going to do um uh, North Star Village Haunted Village for Halloween as time permits. Now that probably won't come till I get a few of these under my belt, but um, that's going to be a lot of fun too. It's going to have a chemist and um, you know, a coffee shop and everything will be a haunted theme. So that'll be kind of fun. And the size will kind of go with my carousel that I have, my haunted carousel, because I like making little vignettes. But um, the small size in these, if you just want the house, I think they're, um, they're small enough to fit on a larger tree. Like on the bottom, you could drill a hole and hang them even. You could put them on a mantle. You could put a few houses on the wreath. I didn't want to go much smaller than this because of the detailing. I thought it would be a little bit difficult for to paint it much smaller with the same amount of detail. But um, just a lot of options for them. So anyway, that's what I've been working on. And that's my labor of love. The pattern itself is 30 pages long. So it's one of my masterpieces. <laughs> I'm very proud of it. And so far the pre-orders have been fabulous. And I hope to get more orders um, as soon as I blog and everything about it. So I hope you have a good day. This is getting to be seven minutes, so that's pretty long. And I hope you enjoy my new patterns. Keep watching for um, the new versions as soon as I get these orders out the door, my pre-orders should be going out tomorrow, Monday. And as soon as I get the pre-orders out the door, I'll start working on um, the next um, shop, which will be the florist. It's going to be fun. So have a good day. Bye-bye.